Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose on July 6, 2013, and uh, 12.46 a.m. Birmingham, Alabama. You know what? I'm shooting from the hip. I just want to tell you, in a nutshell, the things that we need to be very aware of. And, um, and I think, for the most part, this country is, and I know for a fact that the 57 Muslim nations in the Middle East and Russia and most of the European countries are fully, fully, 100% aware that God gave Israel, specifically Jerusalem, to the Jews, his chosen people. And, and we can only guess as to why he gave it to the Jews. But I think I know the answer. Number one, God, the creator of all heavens and all earth, Everything in it, everything under it. He created heaven and the earth. And it is the center of all creation. It is the center of the billions of galaxies that are floating around. We are the very center of those. Although we may be offset in the Milky Way, that offset part gives us a better view of the rest of the entire universe than if we were in the center of the Milky Way or another end, another corner. We are in the precise location where we can view God's creation from right here. And we are in the very center of all his creation. Now here on earth, when God created earth, he probably set the very spot he first created was Jerusalem. The very spot and where he created man and woman and all the other things he set in this spot. And it was probably called Jerusalem even back then. God can see the beginning from the end. And, and to try to give you an idea of that, if you're sitting on a, on a, not a mountain, but on an elevated place above the Great Plains, and you're looking at three, four miles away, and you see a train go by, and you look to the left, and you see the engine. You look to the right, and you see the caboose. You see the beginning and you see the end. God sees the beginning of all his creation and he sees the end of all his creation, including everything from the very first man he made on earth to the very last thing that's going to happen on earth that has to do with man. He sees it. He saw it. He knows the outcome. But when he created Israel, he made Israel and Jerusalem, he loved this spot so well, he put his name on the mountains above Jerusalem. That's right. His name is written on the mountain above Jerusalem. His signature is there. That says, this is my spot. But then he had to have someone... When he gave man the right to choose right from wrong, the right to choose heaven or hell, the right to choose a God or no God, man blew it. And don't think that maybe he said, well, I'll let the Jews do it because they'll do it. I believe that God gave every race of people the same opportunity 
to carry forth his word. And I think they all failed. I think we all failed. I think everybody had the same equal chance to be that number one group of people that would bring forth the Bible, the written word, everything that God did in his most important how-to book for every person that he created. The Jews did it. We failed. The Chinese failed. The Swiss failed. The Australians failed. Everybody failed. We all tried it. I can't prove that, but I would bet that, that we all had the same opportunity. And then here comes the Jew. It's their time to try it. Maybe where they're the last. Well, they did it. Not only did they bring us the word of God, they also brought us a savior. God gave his prize possession, his prize real estate and all of creation to the Jews. The people that he chose because his people, these people, the Jews, they were the ones that brought forth the word of God from day one. Muslims didn't do it. They failed miserably and they came up with their own Bible and, and it's not worth the paper it's written on. It's full of lies. It depicts women as trash and, and property. Women aren't trash and property. Women are co-equal to men in all that God created. He didn't create it all for man and said, by the way, this is your slave. Take her and do what you want. If you don't like her, kick her butt, slap her around. If you don't like her, kill her, go get you another one. I don't want a God like that. Never, ever. But no, our God didn't do that. Only some other moon rock did it. Uh, they call him Allah. And a drunk man called Muhammad, just anybody that hates half of God's creation can't be right in the head. But the point is, the Jews did it. We owe the Jews. The world owe the Jews. And we'll one day see that. And um, I'm just saying, look, we're blowing it, guys. This world is going to come to a very sad end where, as I said before, if God did not cut time short, then there would be no life on earth left alive. That's right. A world without God won't survive. Max, as you see, seven years. Seven years in a day, this world will cease to exist. But God will intervene. Because of the few that called his name. Think about it, guys. This is not an accident. This is not something that just people think up. If the Garden of Eden was so beautiful with Adam and Eve, and then God had his little place over here in Jerusalem, I would think that Jerusalem would make the Garden of Eden look like a, a junkyard, really. And one day, Jerusalem will be made back to the way God fell in love with it, the way he loved it. And he gave it to the people that earned it. Leave them alone. Stand by them. If you can't stand by them, keep your mouth shut and don't do anything. Jody Wolf Exposed.